Welcome everyone, I am Scorch13. I am very excited to be bringing you a card reveal for part two of Faria's current expansion, Resurgence. We got 20 new cards back in September. We have 20 new cards releasing next Tuesday, October 23rd. We've had a few reveals through Steam Pictures, through Faria Friday posts. Uh, there was one through the Crogcast. The card I'm about to reveal hits the halfway point as the 10th card shown so far for part two. Resurgence, of course, is split up into two distinct parts for lore flavor, with red and yellow cards being released in part one, showing how different things have been twisted and corrupted from the fallout of Fall of Everlife. Now, we have green and blue cards being released, which are aiming to bring balance back to the world. All creatures need to find their inner strength, uh, stand with those around them, or defend those who cannot protect themselves. So... I present to you what I think might be the most adorable card of the set, Savior of the Meek. A three fairy, a one, two creature costing two forests and two lakes. Its gift ability allows you to give another friendly creature plus two, two and divine with the restriction that it can only target friendly creatures with exactly one attack. Now I was actually very concerned at first glance with this, because I think the potential of giving Divine to another friendly creature is very dangerous, allowing you to potentially protect a win condition or uh, set up onto a big creature that your opponent then can't uh, immediately deal with. But I think the one attack restriction means you need to be somewhat creative with finding which creatures this will have the best impact on. So, let's start out with looking at the balance on this card. First off, the plus two two buff instantly drew me towards comparing with Tiki Caretaker. We have the same cost, same forest requirements, and that same buff like I mentioned. But for two lakes more, it gains one extra life, as well as the extra divine buff potential. With the downside, if you want to call it that, of only being able to target creatures with one attack. Awesome thing I want to point out as well, is that it can also target itself. So once you've played one savior, your potential next savior could target the first, which does give you more targets to consider during deck building other than just needing to focus on other creatures to hit. Now, due to the attack restriction for the buff, the savior cannot just be an all-around buff creature the way that Tiki Caretaker is. Like I said earlier, we need to get a little creative with what creatures we can buff. So far for part two of Resurgence, I'm unsure of potential synergy with one attack creatures. We have the roaming yak, but I don't really see Savior fitting into any yak type archetypes. So I'm going to actually take a look at the new card that'll come out, Priest of Everlife, a 1-1 one, one which gives a buff to the next creature you draw. Although the Savior doesn't fit into any Rakoan deck, it could find a home in some kind of green-blue swarm deck like we've seen be popular in the past. Putting a bunch of small creatures out onto the board, and then buffing with Gift of the Rakoa. Now while the Divine won't allow you to target that creature with Gift of the Rakoa, it would allow something smaller like Priest, or potentially the 1-1 one, one token created by the Rakoan cre Recruiter, uh, to become Divine meaning it could collect without your opponent being able to directly clear it. That extra Feria could allow either more potential buffs per turn onto other creatures, or big swings through cards like Frog Tosser. That style of green-blue is definitely an archetype that I'll have my eyes on when this card releases. Being a split requirement, it would be difficult for this card to be included as a splash in any monocolor decks. But luckily, there is another green-blue archetype that I think could potentially make a bit of a resurgence of its own. That would be the green-blue enchantment. Now, whether or not it ends up playing Apex Predator as a win condition, green-blue enchantment was a style that I absolutely loved back in the earlier days of Faria, but one that's really been outclassed by other green-blue archetypes recently. Savior can target things like Living Willow, potentially Possessed Ursus, maybe Wandering Monk if you wanted to play it. Can also be used on things like a Shadow Silk Fairy, or Flower Silk Fairy before it triggers its ability. While again, the Divine doesn't allow you to follow up with other buffs or potentially enchantments, 
the fact that some defensive or combo cards could be more protected could allow a lot of value either by trading or collecting to set up uh, potentially other combos with enchantments or apex predators later on in the game. I really like the potential of this card. While I don't immediately see any combinations that stand out to me as the go-to, I think there are some, uh, no, maybe enough, which justify uh, that this card could see some play. And we've still got half the cards in part two yet to be revealed. I've also got some other interesting ideas in the back of my mind. More oddball combos than anything concrete. But let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, check out my part one review for Resurgence. And hit subscribe so you don't miss part two when Resurgence comes out. You can also find me streaming on twitch.tv slash metagamingtv. Or join our Discord and chat with me there. And I'll see you next time.